good day. It's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today we're going to talk about a, an MTU issue, some ICMP error messages, uh, Wireshark messages, and kind of make sense of it all. So here we go. We'll start off with uh, the basics. We've got an FTP session, obviously, and there it is. Requesting a passive connection. Server says, yeah, go ahead, passive mode. Store means I'm sending stuff. And then I got my SYN, SYN ACK, ACK, and then data, so on and so on. And then things start to happen. We see ICMP destination reachable fragmentation required. It's from this guy 1.1, and I'm 1.01, so that's obviously my router. And you can see the server comes back, TCP out of order. And destination reachable, destination reachable, TCP retransmissions. Oh my goodness, woo! <laughs> There, I'm getting all upset. So things are bad. So the first thing we do when we see this kind of nonsense is we have to determine is this only happening in this area or throughout the whole trace. So what I'm going to do is just simply uh, press page down and you can see here we've got uh, data, acknowledgements, data, acknowledgements. Uh, things are looking good. Delta times are fairly reasonable. Page down, good. Page down, more of the good, 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 good. So everything's pretty good. It's just that top part here where things go a little awry. And this is exactly what I noticed when I did my FTP. I get this delay at the beginning, and then it kind of starts up. And I'm not quite sure what that is, so that's what we're doing here. So let's get into it. We've got our FTP data packet being sent. Another one, another one, another one, and then destination reachable. Fragmentation needed is the key here. And, and what does all this mean? Well, ICMP obviously is going to be the erroring message protocol, so it's giving us an error. In this case, it's saying you can't get there because you got to chop up your packet. And why can't we chop up this packet? Well, let's just take a look here. If we look inside of it, we're using TCP, and at the IP header, it actually says don't fragment. So when I send my packet, nobody's allowed to chop it up. Well, the router says, well, it's not going to fit, buddy, so i, I got to throw this out, and I'm going to tell you why. So if I look at the ICMP packet, we can actually look inside of it, and right here... Here we go, ICMP. It says MTU of next hop, 1456. 1456. Hmm, how much did I send at the beginning? Let's take a look here. And you can actually see in the IP header, it says 1500, which is your IP MTU default. So he's saying, hey, that's too much. So you got to chop that up. All right. Now we want to find out uh, is this packet causing this error? So how do we do that? Well, let's look inside the ICMP header. You can look down, here's a copy of the original offending IP header. And if we go a little further, we'll actually see the TCP header. And there's the sequence number, 4523. And that's that's the one that I'm sending back as a photocopy of what caused the problem. So now all we have to do is come back up here and look at the sequence number. And it says it's one, because my relative sequence numbers are enabled. Hmm. So let's right click and turn that off. Protocol preferences and we are going to turn off relative sequence numbers. And now we can see it's 4523. So we proved. We sent 4523 and we got an error on 4523. And that also explains this. TCP out of order. When you look at this TCP out of order, his sequence number is 4523. So what he's telling me is a few things. There's 4523 and then I sent it back as an error, and then you resent it at a different size. You see that? So now I have a smaller size because that's what I was told to do. But now Wireshark is saying, well, you had packet one, two, three, four, and then one again. So it's out of order. So now we understand why that's there. It's supposed to be there, and that's the way it's being interpreted. If you really take a close look, you'll see it says unreachable, unreachable, unreachable. And again, we've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One for every one. And then things get sorted out and off we go. So there you go. Hopefully that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.